Hey fellas, Rust coming at you. Well, a lot of you, maybe you guys don't know, um, I did a lot of modern knife reviews for the first two years of my channel. And Gonzo, one of my favorite brands in that little journey. And uh, every once in a while, if we come across the knife that I think is worthy of sharing, I'm going to pick it up and we're going to show it off and Gonzo just released this one and the G76 is that a 3-2 it's in D2 blade steel and it's got the axis lock G10 nicely textured it's got ambidextrous clips you can put it on either side it's a deep carry you do have a bit sticking out here Nice texture, axis lock, thumb hole, thumb studs, and aggressive jimping, both on the uh, liners on the top back here and on the top of the spine. Those are, you know, the finish on there might be taking them off. They're not super aggressive. Uh, they do work pretty well. Ergos are great. This is a larger knife. Uh, it's only $26, $27 on Amazon right now. And I just got it in the mail today. So bear with me. As far as the action goes. Of course, if I crank it up a, a bit, maybe I'll have better luck here. Yeah. Uh, so I have several gonzos i picked up a bunch uh what you would call the g knives or i would call them the hammer knives and you can see the hammer on there uh which is yeah that's a so they have the f the fh this is a g and the g knives are the older ones but the uh they were access locks and they had really tough springs so well, rather than doing any measurements and stuff like that all this kind of just bring out a comparison. So we have this $26, $27 knife versus I want to say I paid about a hundred bucks for an Asher Spiro. Now this is also Chinese made. Uh, it's an S35. I believe this is a Kunwu uh, OEM. So I'm happy about that. And I will tell you, the action on this is a lot smoother and they have a closed type of a frame uh, they put a little g10 backspacer there uh, smooth out the, uh, the handles on it fantastic ergos in and out of the pocket easy uh, this one I'm putting in and out and it's catching because we got this you know no milling to lighten it but it's not too bad I would say if you're looking for a good knife, Gonzo does a good D2 heat treatment. I've seen them get 60 HRC plus. Comes relatively sharp. Uh, needs to be sharper. Eh, it's usable. It's working. And it's going to hold an edge really pretty decently. In addition, I want to say, if you guys are looking at the new CJRB Bowie I want to say the Bowie Pyrite, or even Neves' new knife. Neves, Jared Neves is coming out with uh, his rendition, his first design. Riyadh's going to make it, and uh, it looks pretty similar to this. It does have more of a clip right there. Now, I'm not going to say, I mean, Riyadh and Gonzo are two different ends of the scale as far as quality construction and, and that kind of stuff. But not all of us are going to have three, four hundred dollars to spend on a knife, especially if we're going to use it. So I wanted to get this video out there. May bring this on back out again, but for now, still working on traditional knives. Um, so thanks for joining me. Thanks, guys.